to be a late addition, you know, doesn't take away from the privilege and honor that it is to play for your country. I got that phone call and it was 10.30 at night and I was at Kmart trying to set up my house in Melbourne and Dre asked me and he's like, look, I know it's a really hard question to ask. I said, mate, you know me, like, what do you think? And he was like, all right, cool, no worries, sweet, talk to you tomorrow. To get a call, no matter when it is, on the very last day or the very first day or, or late into it, you know, it's, a, it's an absolute prestigious honor. So went away, um, we had high aspirations and hopes as a team and we came together as a collective and a, and a unified front. We played great basketball, we showed Australian youngsters and families and you know loved ones that this is what it's like to play boomer basketball and this is what it's like to to wear australia across your chest and your name on your back and have your families you know in your hearts and on your sleeves and i think we did a great job we put ourselves in a position you know double ot against the, the champs in the spaniards and credit to them they they, they beat us and uh, we moved on to you know a, a consolation of playing for a bronze which is still a high honor would have been the first medal but we fell short and Right now, that's fuel to the fire. I know a lot of the guys, especially me, is it's it's hard and it's still hard and it's it's raw and it's fresh and it's going to be for a long time. And until Tokyo comes around, that's the next time we can get redemption. So we have to come back, collect ourselves, go back in, um, work it out, and, and work towards uh, you know giving ourselves another chance and, and hopefully coming away with a medal and, and ultimately that gold medal.